Face Islam, the program dealing with the subjects and issues facing Muslims every day. In today's episode, I want to talk about a word, ajr. You hear people say ajr, ajr, ajr. It's all the same words, different pronunciations. It's related to rewards or hasanat. Hasanat, thawab. These are other words that we use in the Arabic language. All of this is dealing with the subject of rewards and gains that a person will receive by doing the commandments, by fulfilling their obligations to Almighty Allah. In Islam, we understand that it's not just that you're going to obey Allah and that's it. There's a reward in obeying Allah. There are specific rewards along the way. Then there's the big reward at the end. All of this is for the one who is willing to submit and surrender in peace to Almighty God. And that surrender, that submission, the peace, being in peace with Allah's will, that is called aslama, and from it comes the word Islam. Now, what do we understand from this? First of all, being the good person in front of Allah and the good person with the people sets his feet on the right path every day. And as he goes through the motions, the daily life, there are opportunities again and again and again for him to receive these rewards. And those rewards can vary according to two things, the type of reward that it is, and then what's inside of him while he does it. For instance, if a person removed even some little obstruction out of the way of the believers, he would get a reward of charity as though he gave charity, even smiling in the face of your brother, if Sam, the word smile, is a charity. And that charity will get you a reward. But suppose someone built a school or a madrasa, and children could go and learn, be educated, and be good contributing citizens in their community. This would be a bigger reward. Well, Maybe, because he's spending a lot of resources, a lot of time and effort, and enabling many, many children to do many good things. Now, one of the things you'll find is that the rewards will double, triple, multiply many times over when it benefits people and they can benefit others. For instance, knowledge that you would impart, that other people would learn and then pass on to others, and those would uh, pass that knowledge on to others, and it would grow. It would continue to grow and grow and grow. So this would be the kind of azure that would become on multi-levels, mm -hmm. with no real downside to it, because you don't have to do any more work after that. You did it, you put it in place, then it begins to work for you. There's also the kind of reward that comes when a person uses not their wealth and not their money or time or their knowledge, but they use their time with their family. And you might think, well, okay, what kind of reward would that be? Well, when you use your time properly with your family, then your children grow up to be good, solid citizens, morally right and righteous, doing good deeds, right? So you'd have that reward. But there's another benefit too, and that's a child who's praying for their parents. And there is no comparison, no comparison for this kind of beautiful reward that's coming to raise a child properly and have them making dua for you because of it. So these are some of the types of rewards. But then... How does it work exactly? I want to know, am I really going to get rewards for what I do? As a matter of fact, in Islam we find that there are two angels, one on the right side, one on the left side, and they're recording. This one records the good deeds. The one on this side over here records the bad deeds. And exactly how does it work? 
Well, we said it has to be right in the heart because if that's not in place, it affects the value of the good deed. So it will affect the outcome of the ajr. Now watch. Suppose somebody had a very good intention, niya, to do a good deed. Good intention, good deed, they want to do it. All right, as soon as he makes the intention, I want to do this thing. This angel writes down one full good deed. Ah. Now, when he does the good deed, then it becomes not one or two or three. No, it becomes ten ashara. It becomes ten. Hmm. Now, what if he did a bad deed? Let's look at what happens now. He has in his mind, he wants to do a bad deed. Nothing's recorded, not yet. In fact, he stops himself and he said, no, that's a bad deed, I won't do it. Oh, he gets a good deed recorded. This one records good. Wait a minute, why? Because he was going to do bad, but he stopped himself. And when he stopped himself, then Allah wants him to have a good deed for stopping a bad deed. And that's a pretty good deal, isn't it? But it gets even better. Look at this. Suppose he had the intention to do a bad deed. He didn't stop himself, but he didn't do it for some other reason. Things just didn't work out. He didn't do the bad deed, but he never did have the intention not to do it. This one doesn't write anything, and this one also doesn't write anything. It's not until he does the deed. Once he does the bad deed, he had the intention to do the bad deed. Then this one gets ready to write one full bad deed. But this angel stops him and says, wait, maybe he will repent. Maybe he will make tawbah. Maybe he will say, I'm sorry. Maybe he will apologize. And maybe he will correct himself. In which case, we won't write anything bad. But after a while, he continues doesn't repent, so then this one will stop again and say, wait, wait, give him a little bit more time until finally the one on this side will write down for that person one full bad deed. And we seek refuge in Allah from that. But we also know how to remove that, which is simple. Just do a good deed. But I want to focus in this episode about the ajr and understand what these rewards are. If I pray, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, as I'm supposed to, then even though I'm commanded to do it, I'm going to get a reward. I've been commanded to do my salah five times a day. So if I do it, why would I get a reward? But I will. In fact, I will get a reward of ten. And if I do it in a jama'ah gathering together with a prayer, I could get 25 times that much with 250 or 270. Or 700 or, or 7,000, as much as Allah wants to reward. Because I'm doing the good deeds for the sake of Allah, the way he wants them done. And that's Islam. And this is face Islam. <laughs>